forecast in Central Texas. This is Fox 44 Weather with meteorologist Sabian Cologne. You know, Xavier, I have a potential bone to pick. Oh, no. And I want to know why coats made in the Northeast are, are thicker and, you know, more are warmer than coats made in Texas. What's with that? I mean, what, we have the same temperatures now, right? I well, mean, we, we get more of the <laughs> snow that's going up the Northeast. It's also colder. Texas is a little bit, you know, because right now we're on the same playing I mean, field as yes, Jersey. Are yes. we not colder than Jersey right now? We are, yes, colder than Jersey back home. We want to hear from you. What do yeah, you guys of course. think? I mean, yeah. <laughs> right now we have temperatures that are sitting, not even getting out of the 30s. We've been below freeze for the past couple of hours, having temperatures between the upper upper teens and lower 20s. But right now we're looking at our Syntex Siemens Scudder Sky Tracker out here in Woodway. We can see we have some clouds coming through. It's more of an overcast type of feel right now. But the thing is, it is very chilly outside. But currently we have temperatures that are 17 degrees with a northerly wind at 17 miles per hour. So here's the big things that have been coming out throughout the day. We have a winter weather advisory that is from until noon on Sunday to noon on Monday, and that includes the uh, precipitation that's going to be sleet, freezing rain and snow and a mix. So we have some of that mixing precipitation coming through. That's why it is for the most of our area. So also we had this hard freeze warning, which is till midnight until 10 a.m. on Monday. This is really freezing uh, down into the College Station into the Brazos Valley, this purplish type of color. And we also have another wind chill advisory that is till midnight Monday until noon on Tuesday. We have in this light blue blue type of color. We have very cold winds that's going to make it feel like five below zero. So very chilly. Make sure you wear the adequate amount of clothing and make sure you have your hats and your gloves. If you're going outside, if make sure you have no skin exposed because it is very chilly outside. So going to our temperatures right now, we can see 16 in Temple and Colleen, and we also have 16 in Gatesville. So around the lower teens and mid teens, we also have a little bit warmer. I would it's really much warmer below freezing College Station at 22 degrees and Brenham is at 23 degrees. So looking at our wind chills, look at this one degrees in Waco. It feels like it feels like zero in Temple and Colleen. Freezing temperatures, very cold outside, a little bit warm. I wouldn't say much. Nine degrees in College Station and five in Brenham. So moving to our Viper Radar, we're going to zoom out a little bit. We see a big picture. We have the snow above my head right now over in Memphis, Tennessee. That's going to really fill in and kind of make more of this precipitation. And as we get more of that dew point and we get more of this moisture we can work with, we're going to get more of that ice going through into tonight into tomorrow as well. So going to check out tomorrow, we're going to see our future cast are starting here at Monday at 12 a.m. We can see already we have this pinkish light pink color covering the majority of our viewing area. We have a little bit green down south because it is a little bit above freezing. But as we put this into motion, we can see the overnights of Monday, the Monday morning. We still have this pinkish color over here. All of that freezing rain that is going to be over our viewing area right now. And as we keep moving it into motion, as we go into the Monday and stopping here at 12 p.m. on Monday, we can see temperatures are sitting between the mid 20s. So again, very cold below freeze. We're going to be below freeze for the next couple of 40 hours, even 72 hours. Though it takes a little bit to move this cold air because it's so heavy and dense, keeping it around air. And as we sit around the 5 p.m. hour on Monday, we have more of these clouds coming through. And as we go into the overnight hours of Monday and into Tuesday morning, we see everybody's cleared out at Tuesday morning, but it is very chilly outside. Temperatures in the teens, 15 and 18 degrees. But then this front moves through, sorry, this high pressure system supposed to bring great conditions, but it's going to be great, but it's going to be cold, very cold outside, having wind chills that are very high, making it even chillier outside. But here is your future freezing rain forecast. We can see everybody's range between one one hundredth of an inch and one, sorry, and five tenths of an inch of rain, or sorry, an inch of freezing rain. But it only takes a little bit to get that rain, or sorry, the freezing rain on the roads, making it tricky and making it hard to do. So for tonight, we do 14, mostly cloudy, with a 40% chance of that freezing rain. And for tomorrow, 26 degrees, mostly cloudy with a 40% chance of freezing rain. That's going to be mostly in the morning. So here's your long range 10 day forecast brought to you by Tanner Roofing. We can see on that Tuesday 30 degrees, even 14 on that Tuesday morning. Chilly temperatures record breaking as a matter of fact. And as we go into the later part of the work, we can see temperatures warming up a little bit. We have at 62 even on Thursday, so above freezing. And as we get into the later parts of the week and into the weekend and into that next Monday, Tuesday, that's our next chance for those rain chances. And here you're going down to our Brazos Valley 
Valley. We can see temperatures, a similar trend here, but we do have them a little bit warmer, 66 on that Thursday, having temperatures ranging between the mid 40s and upper 40s. The lows are between the mid 30s and lower 30s as well. That's your latest forecast. PJ, back to you.